With this project, I've had an opportunity to work with Lori Rayon and Master Cat Puda. They work in sacred partnership together along with the consciousness of the whales and dolphins. Lori Rayon is a interspecies communicator, a telepathic teacher, and a soul healer. Master Caputa is an ascension teacher. They are the founders of the Omni Dimensional Mystery School. They offer boat trips, retreats, workshops, and individual coaching with people to experience the whales and dolphin medicine. Lori Rayon is a collaborating author on the best-selling book, Dolphins and Whales Forever. I hope that you enjoyed this film as much as I did working on it. I am so grateful that I got to work with all these talented artists that are so passionate about dolphins and whales, the ocean, and living in their sacred hearts. Love and light. Blessings. Enjoy the film. What is Ascension? Personal Ascension is the unified presence of one being. Ascension is to hold and embody the highest potential for an incarnated being in full representation of the soul. Ascension is a collective field of expanded illumination, intuition, and acceptance within the self. Ascension is a shift into a higher state of consciousness bestowed upon you by your higher self when you are ready. Ascension is remembrance of the origin of my creation and to know who I really am. Ascension is to become my divine I am presence. Ascension is to know oneself as infinite love, wisdom, and power. Ascension is merger of the highest vibration with my true multidimensional divine presence. Ascension is beyond faith. It is knowing and being oneself as creator source. Tools for Ascension Living in your sacred heart Living in the heart is utilizing the most important cosmic law. Entering the sacred place of your heart is the source of creation. 
The heart is the key to everything. The heart is older than the body and the brain. The secrets that you are seeking are within your heart. Within your heart is where creation takes place. The brain requires light to see and exist, but the heart sees in darkness. In the heart is a world without fear. There is a vibration with the heart that is the ohm to the universe. It is the heart that contains the original instructions for life. And when the heart is again in control of a person's life, life responds with joy and power. The heart is the key to everything. There is a secret inside the heart that is there for you. There is a tiny space within the heart where creation actually takes place. When you create from your heart, you create beauty, pristine vibration, a world without fear, a world without polarity or duality. When you create from the heart, there is no karma because the heart is incapable of lying. When you create from your mind, there is polarity, and it does not matter how incredibly beautiful something that you would create from your mind is, because somewhere in the world is an equal or opposite reaction to that. So when you move into the heart, there is only love, there is only truth, and there is only beauty, because your heart is incapable of lying or misleading you. We are living in a feeling universe, not a thinking universe. If you have been thinking your way through life, you may be sadly dismayed with the creations that are occurring in your life. We suggest that you move immediately into your heart and begin to create without polarity. Master Puddha lovingly suggests that you take out your brain and that you dig a hole in the backyard. You bury your brain and you forget where you put it. The heart is the map and the key to your life. Master Cat Puddha would tell each of you that the opportunity that is created when you choose to meditate, to become still, move into your heart, and to create a place of silence, is this is the opportunity that you've been waiting for, and this is the opportunity to become a good listener. The universe, the spiritual hierarchies, the angels, your master guides, and your higher self have so much to share with you. If you would create the opportunity in your life to be a good listener first thing every morning you will be amazed at the information that they would share with you ascension tool number two meditation commit to yourself to meditate a minimum of 15 minutes twice daily our suggestion is to meditate when you first wake up in the morning to connect with spirit and your master guide team. And again, before you go to sleep at night. Allow yourself in meditation to breathe only through your nostrils as you sit comfortably with your spine straight and open to receive the messages spirit will have for you. It is through your heart connection that you will receive the messages in your meditation that you are seeking. It is a wonderful time to offer gratitude to Creator, to your family, and to your guides and angels. The universe is conspiring to assist you, so don't forget to always connect with Spirit, knowing that they are waiting to bless you in your meditations and to communicate with you through your heart. Blessings on your meditations. Master Puddha says, Gratitude is the key to the universe, so don't forget where you left your key. Gratitude is one of the number one keys to claim the energy for your ascension. 
Gratitude allows you to feel love of self and love of others. Gratitude opens the portals of transformation and raises your vibration instantly. If you ever feel your energy spiraling down or you feel anger, despair, or frustration, you can shift these energies by consciously moving into a higher vibration we call an attitude of gratitude. Begin to count your blessings and when you begin to list those things that you are grateful for, you will be there for a while and you will forget why you were upset or why you ever felt despair, anger, or frustration. This shift into a higher frequency begins with the simple attitude of gratitude for the many things we are simply given. Offer gratitude for your physical body and for your very breath. Offer gratitude for warm, clean, running water. Gratitude for your food and for your drinking water. Gratitude for the trees and the plants. For the flowers and the grass. Gratitude for your animal friends. Gratitude for the babies and the children. Gratitude for your mother and for your father, for your husband or your wife. Gratitude for your relatives and for your friends. Offer gratitude for your teachers and for the relationships you have. Offer gratitude for the oceans, for the rivers, the lakes, and the many streams. Offer gratitude for our beloved Mother Earth and for the sun and the moon and the planets and the list goes on. Offer gratitude for the organization and intelligence that the universe offers each of us every day. When you begin to count your blessings, you will know that you are truly blessed and that love and gratitude are the only feelings that you want in your life. Ascension Tool Number 3 Light Layers Master Puddha has taught me a wonderful and transformational tool for life and for ascension. We call this tool Light Layers. We use it to create a sacred space around ourselves and always use it before we go out into the world to interact with others. Begin by surrounding yourself in many layers of divine, white, golden light. Pick a number that resonates for you and envision yourself being wrapped and blanketed in the highest vibrational light that you can summon from the divine. Ask Creator to expand you and lovingly raise your vibration as you layer yourself in divine white light with golden specks. And now, expand even more, summoning and spinning many layers of beautiful pink light from the heart. And then spin many layers of beautiful green healing light. And now, surrounding yourself in layers of the violet flame for healing and clearing lower or negative energies. And complete your meditation by spinning beautiful rainbow light, all colors and spectrums combined. You are consciously connecting to your master guides, to the fairies, to the elementals, to the angels, and to your higher self. Enjoy this feeling of being loved and protected with many layers of color and light. One of our favorite techniques is to use the magical number of 144,000 layers of each color of light as we prepare for our day and go out into the world. Ascension Tool Number 4 Unity Breath Meditation 
The Unity Breath Meditation is a part of the Flower of Life work. It is perhaps the most important tool to set up your day first thing in the morning. It creates a balance of the Divine Feminine or Mother energy in your body, and it anchors it in your heart for the day. This is the energy of nature and your connection to Earth and all of her elements. It then creates a balance of the Divine Masculine or Father energy in your body and anchors this energy in your heart. This energy is your connection to the sun and beyond. This creates communication in your body to the higher realms, including the angels, your master guide team, and your celestial brothers and sisters. And then you create the ultimate triangulation in your body through the power of this breath. You become filled with love and gratitude for yourself, for the plants, the flowers, the animals, and for the elements, and for all life everywhere. And as you send out this love and gratitude from your body into the world, it returns to you magnified and expanded, radiating in all directions to the ultimate ends of the universe. You move beyond polarity or duality, and you are perfectly balanced and prepared for your day. Ascension Tool Number 5 Merkaba The Merkaba is your personal, interdimensional living light vehicle that helps you achieve an original state of consciousness. The Merkaba meditation will help you make conscious contact with your higher self, aligning your mind, body, and heart together. Study and practice of the Merkaba will connect you to your source and you will create your living light vehicle and spin it into perfect harmony with the speed of the galaxy. The Merkaba meditation was brought to the planet by the angels through a great man, Mr. Drunvalo Melchizedek. The angels gave him a wonderful 17th breath meditation to help you activate the sacred living light around your body, known as the Merkaba. This particular practice has been instrumental in thousands of people's lives in helping them bring their original living light field into a state of consciousness where the law of attraction becomes almost instant in their lives and they are able to achieve a state of alpha and theta. So we suggest that you seek out a teacher that has been trained in the Flower of Life teachings that can teach you the practice of the living Merkaba. The Merkaba geometry consists of three superimposed star tetrahedrons positioned around your body. Every life form has a Merkaba. The human being is surrounded by numerous geometric fields of energy that are electromagnetic in nature within this dimension. The Merkaba extends into all possible dimensions and in each dimension uses the laws of that dimension to manifest. The star tetrahedron is the source of all geometric fields around the body. It is easier to learn and practice this meditation if you have a picture or a physical symbol of the star tetrahedron to work with. The practice of studying and activating your Merkaba is one of the most powerful things you can do for yourself to prepare for ascension. It will greatly accelerate your spiritual growth, connect you to your heart, and help you achieve Christ Consciousness. Here is a quote from Drunvalo Melchizedek. By itself, the Merkaba is incomplete. It is again the heart that contains the original instructions of life. And when the heart is again in control of a person's life, life responds with joy and power. When the Merkaba is directly connected to the sacred space of the heart, that person's life becomes interconnected to all life everywhere and moves into a higher state of consciousness. It is important now to share that a tremendous and vast opening of light and consciousness came to our planet on November 11, 2011. 
This great expanded infusion of cosmic light brought us a balance of the energy and presence of the Divine Feminine. The light of our Mother Father God is fully present on our planet now and the Divine Feminine energy is restored. This energy of our Divine Mother allows you to move into your sacred heart space with ease and grace and creates the opportunity for you to achieve a permanent Merkaba. We invite you to investigate these teachings and the new way of living in your sacred heart. Achieving a permanent Merkaba can only enhance your life in every way and greatly accelerate your spiritual growth. The pineal gland, sometimes referred to as your third eye, is a crystalline organ that is the greatest gift that Creator has given the human. It is nestled in into the middle of your brain between the two halves of your brain. And when activated, allows you to speak to spirit, it allows you to hear the voices of the angels and the master guides around you. It allows you to hear the voice of your higher self and it allows you to connect to the animals and to nature. Ascension tool number six, activating your third eye, pineal. The next step is to activate your pineal gland or third eye, which is the biological organ through which your spirit speaks. Those that have activated their living Merkaba light field and their third eye experience a powerful change in their lives and often see immediate spiritual growth and acceleration. The pineal gland or third eye is located in the center of your brain and it is actually an eyeball. That is why it is referred to as the third eye. It is hollow like an eye and has color receptors. In its natural state, it is looking upward. The pineal gland has its own chakra and is connected to and communicates to both the brain and the heart. It is important to connect to the pineal gland and make the connection to your sacred heart while rotating the third eye forward. In preparing for ascension, we recommend that you use intention in your meditations to rotate the third eye forward. Also, we suggest that you seek a class or an instructor to assist you in activating the eight beams of light that are connected to your pineal and ultimately to the eight points of your star tetrahedron or Merkaba field. When you connect the eight beams of light from your pineal gland around your head and you are in your sacred heart space, a halo of light appears around your head. When you are in your heart space and all eight beams of light are activated and firing in unison, a green light will appear and feel your auric fields. When this phenomenon occurs, you are firing alpha and potentially theta waves and an accelerated or instant state of manifestation can occur as you are accessing the law of attraction and you are magnetized to the potentials of creation. Conscious creation can become your world now and all that you dream and desire can come to you with ease and grace. At this point, telepathic communication becomes very easy. When you are in your heart space and all eight beams of light are activated and firing in unison, a green light will appear and fill your auric fields. Telepathic and Life Wave Communication Practicing and implementing telepathic and life wave communication skills is a very important part in preparing for ascension. Let us begin by remembering that this gift is your birthright and everyone has this ability. The gift of understanding conscious thought forms was given to all beings when they were born. But this gift is like many gifts Creator has given it is sometimes misunderstood and underused. In order to validate your telepathic abilities, we suggest you practice every day until this gift is activated and becomes natural. Our suggestion 
is to see this gift becoming activated and easy to use in the same way you gained a different life skill, like riding a bicycle or learning to type. Also know that all beings other than human, such as animals, angels, plants, and trees, use this form of nonverbal communication every day, all day long. Part of using this gift effectively is your perception of it. If you believe you can do it, you quite simply can and do. Please give yourself permission to be surprised and allow the energy transmissions to flow into you as you open to sense the communications from other life forms. If you feel you can do it, you can. The power is within you. Let us review the gifts that are available to you now that make up the realms of life wave communication. Clairvoyance is clear seeing. Clairaudient is clear hearing. Clairsentience is clear feeling and knowing. Practicing and tracking your progress. In practicing your skills as a conscious creator, we suggest you begin to focus more each day to monitor your thought forms. Align yourself with the simple fact that what you think is what you create, and thoughts become things. Taking responsibility for every thought, every word, and every deed is a very important part of your ascension. It is very important that you move through any feelings now of shame, blame, and unworthiness as they no longer serve your soul's progression into the light. Begin to monitor and parent your thought forms by checking in with yourself two to three times a day or even more often. Review silently with yourself, what type of thoughts have I had in the past few hours? Ask yourself, what is my state of mind? Where is my vibration and joy level? Am I fully present and grounded now? Am I consciously creating through my thoughts and actions? The Circle of Life In our Western patriarchal culture and society, we do not always listen to the wisdom of our Mother Earth and to the grandmother's messages. Many times we do not allow ourselves to receive from each other. The circle of life is a balance of giving and receiving. If we do not allow this energy to flow evenly, this energy of the circle of life is blocked, and then pain or disease and toxic challenges can become a part of our world. It is important to receive, and it is important to give. Opening to receive can be demonstrated by the simple allowance of having someone open the door for you, or compliment you on what you are wearing, or perhaps buy you lunch. Each person wants to give. It is the gratification of allowing each person to give to another that allows this balanced energy to move with grace. The energy comes from a place of humbleness. If you do not allow yourself to receive, you are blocking someone else's gift to give. We encourage you to take a look at how the circle of life is reflected in your personal life. Ask yourself, are you both giving and receiving energy with love in relationship to the world around you? You are a great and very powerful spiritual being, my friend. Honor your personal creatorship abilities and they will begin to work for you as opposed to against you. You can become a conscious creator and a co-creator of the world in which you live. Ascension Tool Number 8 The Violet Flame The Violet Flame is God's gift to humanity. It is the most powerful tool humanity has for transmutation and transformation. It is time for humanity to reclaim our divine destiny. 
It is time for us to remember that we are all the beloved sons and daughters of Creator. The angels and the beings that make up the heavenly hosts have come through the veil to meet us, and they brought with them the sacred knowledge of how to utilize the violet flame. The violet flame is a powerful and magical gift that can be used to transmute any and all pain and negative thoughts or suffering that you may be experiencing. When most of us were born on this planet, we willingly allowed ourselves to create a state of amnesia for ourselves, not remembering who we really are. We have willingly incarnated onto planet Earth, choosing to live in the third dimension where duality or polarity is the current state of existence. If you have been going about your life and have not been conscious of the power of your thoughts, words, and deeds, you have probably misused your energy at times. You may have forgotten that you are a very powerful creator and that you are a son or daughter of God. Because of the misuse of our creative energy through negative and painful thoughts, words, and deeds, this great gift of the violet flame is perhaps the most important and powerful tool you can claim and begin to use daily. The violet flame truly is the greatest gift humanity has to clear lower or negative energies from their lives. The violet flame is the perfect balance of the in-breath and the out-breath of our Father Mother God, and it is a force of unfathomable power. It is my honor and my joy to commend our beloved Ascended Master Saint Germain for the gift of the violet flame St. Germain is the current Ascended Master on our planet and is responsible for the Ascension Portal from the Earth Plane. Master Puddha tells us that the Violet Plane is a very, very special and most powerful gift here on Earth now. St. Germain has used his own personal energy and has asked for this divine dispensation, for the energy of the Violet Flame to return to Earth as a gift for humanity. Saint Germain has literally brought us the sacred knowledge of how to use the gift of the violet flame to clear, transmute, and heal ourselves. This incredible royal purple light can instantly transmute and clear any and all lower or dissonant energies at the subatomic level. It is our intention to assist you in claiming this royal light and begin using it in your life every day. A mantra we wish to share is, I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. Repeat it. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. Repeat it often. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. Another very important aspect of using the violet flame energy is to embrace the idea that the whales literally embody this light. When I do healing work with individuals and groups and I summon the humpback whale energy for clearing and healing, the entire room and area fills with the royal purple light, which is the Merkaba of the great whales. What I have come to understand is that the whales living light fields actually contain and embody layers and layers of the violet flame for clearing and transmutation of lower energies. The whales are the healers of the healers and are the masters of alignment. The whales are literally able to use this divine dispensation and spin the violet flame around and within us to manifest deep core level healing. On a very positive note, Master Puddha says the goal in life is to become non-reactive. All true masters embody a wonderful emotional balance where they can move about and remain completely non-reactive to any negativity or chaos around them. They have used the power of the violet flame to literally sand down any buttons they may have had. 
Think of your emotions connected to a control panel that is right out in front of you. Take note of the feelings you personally have as you move about your day and might find yourself reacting emotionally to the words, behaviors, or energy of others around you. Checking in on your emotional set points each day is key to finding out where your buttons are and making a conscious choice to sand them down when they get pushed. Master Puda's reality check is no one can push your buttons if they are quite literally sanded down. Master Puda also says, I do not have to attend every argument that I'm invited to. <laughs> Seek to have a nice, smooth control panel out there in front of you with no buttons left to push as you consciously move into balance, alignment, and peace. The power of the violet flame will greatly assist you in transforming your reactiveness to the drama, chaos, and negativity in the world around you. This is a message from the Whales and Dolphins for Humanity. The dolphins are emissaries of light and work closely with the Pleiadian beings to assist everyone in becoming a conscious creator. The dolphins can assist you in going deep within yourself to find the truth that lives within your heart. The dolphins ask us to connect with the divinity within ourselves and truly connect with our souls. They remind us that the soul is the consciousness that we incarnated from and that which we will ultimately return to. Our physical bodies are just an expression of that part of us that embodies a higher power and consciousness. Our souls want nothing more of us in the physical than for us to be happy and live a joyful and magical life. It is only through creating joyful feelings that we can achieve a higher vibration and can truly connect to and communicate with our higher selves. So the dolphin's message is quite simply to become aware of how easy it is to monitor our thought forms and just choose to change them if we find our thoughts anything other than joyful. Simple, but profound. Remember to think is to create, and we are the creators and co-creators of the world in which we live. The universe is one living, breathing, conscious being, demonstrating interconnectedness and oneness. The incarnated whales are an example of the all-loving, all-knowing consciousness that came to planet Earth to be a steward for Gaia and for humanity. As a species, the whales and dolphins are the most spiritually and intellectually evolved souls in our world, and they anchor the light beamed to Earth from distant sources. Using their living light fields, known as the Merkaba, they align with the frequency and resonance of Gaia, or Mother Earth. The whales have held the highest incarnated vibration on the planet for eons, and also hold the resonance or frequency that is the heartbeat for Gaia. We would not have survived these many years if the whales had not chosen to use their vibration to balance and steady our beautiful planet. The end of polarity or duality is nearing. The responsibilities the whales have held for humanity is now being shared with many humans as we awaken to our true selves and choose to take our power as children of Creator Source. We are reclaiming the true dreaming state of the living heart. This is true creatorship. What this means is that through exercising intentional evolution, 
we are entering into a time when thoughts will manifest very quickly into our dimensional realities. Because many of us have chosen to awaken to the truth of our soul's journey and become conscious creators, we are now able to connect with the super sentient ancient cetaceans we call the whales. The whales are the ancients, the elders, and are the greatest healers we will know throughout our many journeys and lifetimes upon this planet we call Earth. The whales ask you to call upon them often to realign your auric fields and your organ systems. They remind you of the phrase, Ask, and you will receive. It is their honor to assist us, and they come in joy and in a state of bliss that can best be described as living in oneness with all that is. The dolphins and whales intend that you will find great love and joy in your heart each day and find a way to share it with another. Communication with the whales and dolphins is the greatest achievement the human race can aspire to. By John Lilly Dolphins and DNA The dolphins have shared with me that they are the designated keepers of the human DNA template system. They receive infusions of DNA activation through the Earth's ocean systems from Creator. It is their given task to process this information internally and calibrate the actual DNA that is perfect and right for each person. The dolphins also hold the energy of love and joy for the actual locations on the planet that are experiencing war and chaos. The dolphins work to create frequencies that are infused into these areas on the planet with templates of peace, harmony, and healing. The dolphin matrix supports DNA reencodements for people and places throughout the energy code systems they use. The dolphin family of light has created a template for the human DNA and uses it to monitor the overall template for the pure holographic possibility equation for humanity and Earth. If you choose to connect with the planetary dolphin family, you can receive these attunements directly from the dolphin group consciousness. The dolphins are the masters of DNA recalibration and are able to shift old energies very quickly with their healing frequencies. Also, they work in a frequency of joy and playfulness that is perfectly suited to the energy of ascension and the new earth. Beloved humans, please listen to your hearts as the energies accelerate during 2012 and beyond. Call upon the dolphin energies as they are the chosen emissaries of light. Their communications will be of valuable assistance in helping you to align with the crystalline grid system, your personal DNA upgrades, and the dolphin matrix systems that are assisting in creating the center for the new Earth. Also know that the dolphin matrix of energy is assisting with the cleansing and balancing of the Earth's oceans. Currently, many scientific experts are saying that DNA plays a powerful role in newly discovered communications between dolphins and humans. One ongoing study at the Sirius Institute in Hawaii has revealed that dolphins and whales receive and transmit sound signals capable of affecting the genetic double helix. Using natural biotechnology, 
dolphins can actually heal humans swimming near them sonogenetically. Fourteen years of multidisciplinary study at the Sirius Institute has indicated that the expression of DNA, traditionally considered the blueprint of life, can be changed by the sound and electromagnetic fields generated by dolphins. New research shows that our DNA is activated by waves and particles of energized sound and light that literally switch genes on or off. Likewise, genetic inheritance is energetically transmitted bioacoustically and electromagnetically through special water molecules that form the electrogenetic matrix of DNA. These hydroelectric structures are shaped like pyramids, hexagons, and pentagons, and they direct the healing processes. This amazing phenomenon explains how remarkable healings have been reported by people in our boats, near the dolphins, and by swimmers following dolphin contact. The cetaceans have had complex language for millions of years, and they have the largest brains on the planet. Visitations by dolphins and whales have demonstrated a history of friendship and cooperation, and even partnership with humans. The dolphins and whales have shown us that they are the ancient and wise, super-sentient beings on this planet. They are living examples for we humans, showing us how to live in peace and in harmony with our planet. We encourage you to connect with the dolphins and the whales each and every day, energetically, telepathically, and in the physical oceans whenever you can. The dolphins and whales are the living, ultimate expression of how we humans can begin to live in our hearts within the pod mind, which is demonstrated by living for the good of the many, not the one. Life is a choice, and you are the creator. The beings that are here now in service to you and your soul or higher self are your master guide team, the whales and dolphins, the animals, and your personal angels. They are all asking me to remind you that life on earth is a choice. Sometimes we forget that we are the creators of our own experience, which includes our personal lives. You also are a very powerful co-creator of the world in which you live and share. What this means is that you become an awakened and enlightened human. And then you are truly responsible for your every thought, word, and deed. Your higher self would like to remind you that the human body is simply the vehicle for the soul to express through. We ask you now, are you connected to your soul and your divine life blueprint? Are you exercising intentional evolution in your personal life? You are a great and powerful spiritual being. If you choose to work with the power you have to create, everything in your life will change, and you will manifest that which you desire with ease and grace. It is a minute-to-minute and day-to-day decision to monitor your personal vibration and thought forms. We invite you to utilize the tools that are given to manifest real change in your daily lives. It does not have to be difficult. 
Using these processes, you can change the way you choose to feel and think, and therefore the way you live. The whales that I speak with call this intentional evolution. When you claim a higher vibration to live within, you begin to experience the assistance of the Holy Ones. We call them the angelics, the cetaceans, and the animal beings of light. In their presence, your life begins to lovingly and gracefully shift, as these beings are carriers of light. In their presence, all that is not light becomes tenderly exposed so that it can be examined with clarity and sensitivity. There is no judgment, punishment, or shame involved in asking to know your true identity as a powerful light being. In asking for this knowledge and remembrance of self, you will consciously begin to bring real and true self-love into your life every day, all day long. The first step is to consciously choose to begin to live life by the simple task of giving and receiving love. First and foremost, for yourself. You must fill your cup each and every day if you truly want to share your God-given talents and gifts with the world. The powerful light beings around you will gently remind you every day that you are never alone. They are asking us to realize that any feelings we have that are other than loving are merely third-dimensional emotional thoughts that are limiting and can potentially block your journey of joy and love. They ask us to remember that any feelings of lack and limitation that you create are only a part of your human incarnation on Earth and not a part of your soul's journey. When we remember that our human body is simply a vehicle for our soul to express through, we can release limiting thoughts and return to center. From this place, we create harmony, peace, and balance in our lives. Remember, it is a choice to create loving thoughts or not to in every minute. When we choose loving and positive thoughts, we find ourselves uplifted and solution energy appears. As you acknowledge that you have created the joys and the challenges in your life, know that you always create solution energy in every situation and for every opportunity. We then can create wonderful opportunities for ourselves and begin to manifest that which we value. This is called creating from the heart from the space of the heart, we can feel true, unconditional love for ourselves and for others. And we move into the consciousness of the pod mind. From the place of the pod or family unit, everyone is loved and cared for. Everyone benefits and there is no lack. The pod mind is demonstrated by living for the good of the many, not the self. We suggest you offer yourself the opportunity to live as individuals, families, and in community from this sacred place of the heart where everyone truly knows they are valued, loved, and cared for. From this place of self-awareness, we find self-empowerment and begin to recognize the God being or creator within ourselves and accept our power to create consciously. Master Puddha is lovingly reminding you to sand down all of those buttons on your control panel. The goal is to become centered and non-reactive to any conversation, chaos, or drama that we are offered. Simply choose again, she says, and release the trauma drama buttons on your panel. No one can push your buttons if they simply are not there to push. Then you can find and use your personal joystick. The vibration of joy is the vibration of true power, which translates into love of self and love of all life everywhere. Master Puddha says, 
let us rejoice as conscious creators of our world. And so it is. Amen. Ascension Tool Number 9 Creating Light Body In preparing for ascension, it is important to understand that you are a multidimensional being. It is important to understand that you are capable of conscious time travel. In our meditation, we are going to suggest that you visualize now the Eye of the Great Whale. Now, together, we will gently travel to and enter the eye of this great well. The eye is a portal or a stargate. This portal to a different star system feels familiar, and it is perfect and right for you. And now, accompanied by your angels and guides, we enter into this multidimensional gateway with ease and grace. Within this vortex of great energy, are the memories of how to return to waveform and become a light being. It is important to understand that the water-based body you currently inhabit is now being restructured and transformed into a crystalline body of light. You have the power within you to change your water body into a light body. In our multidimensional travel, we see ourselves now gently changing the molecular and atomic structure of our body into that of pure, crystalline, rainbow form. We experience an immense sense of gratitude for this experience as we remember our point of origin and experience ourselves once again that of pure light. We see our divine life blueprint and the patterns of perfection within ourselves. We see and experience in the truth of our divine self and the origin of our creation. As we experience the perfection and truth of who we are, we envision our body and we see our heart and the blood that runs through our arteries and veins we see the life force that is our blood, and it is beautiful and red flowing within us. And now we begin to see our blood turning gently into silver light. The transformation of the golden spiral sweeps over us and through us. And we are now using the power of our intention to transform our blood into light. We are now silver light. And now, continuing to raise our vibration, we begin to use the power of the golden spiral to transform our silver light into gold. The gold light sweeps through us and becomes one with us as every molecule of our bodies transform into waveforms of gold. Our bodies are transforming into gold light, and our blood has become golden liquid light. And now we witness our organ systems beginning to glow with golden light. And now our lymph and muscle tissues are glowing with the golden light. And now through the power of our intention and the divine light of Creator, our structural skeletal system and our very bones have become one with the golden spiral of light. We have transformed ourselves into a body of golden light, and we are now perfect and pristine. We are now literal patterns of perfection, ascended and free, embodying our ascended form of light. We are now expanded and conscious of our multidimensional selves. And now, gently, it is time to return back to our third dimensional bodies. Return gracefully and easily through the portal that is the eye of the great whale. 
Return now to your third dimensional awareness, body, and existence. We are bringing with us upgraded patterns of light and DNA. We have transformed our genetic structure and intelligence through the power of intention and our connection to the truth of our divine origins. We have brought the purity and expanded vision of this healing and meditation to our bodies on this day. We are one with all life everywhere. Join with me now and say, I am that I am. I am that I am. I remember I am. I remember I am. I am holy. I am holy. I am sacred. I am sacred. I am light, and I am love. I am light, and I am love. I am divinity embodied. I am divinity embodied. Master Puddha says, Blessed be, my creator friends. Let us rejoice. And so it is. Master Puddha's Closing Ascension Message The process of ascension is well underway now, is ongoing, and will continue past the year 2012. Ascension is evolution expressed through the ascent of the spiral of life. 2012 set the stage for the pinnacle of biological ascension as we experience the dematerialization of the Earth's magnetic fields and the final phases of existence in the third dimension. Our wondrous Earth experience is but an experiment with the density of love in biological form. And as our linear time frame is expressed, we can witness that evolution is not random. Evolution is consciousness in motion, and it uses the energy of the golden mean. The spiral of ascent is accelerating now, looping itself upward outside of linear time. The changes within our form start at the molecular level and are expressed through our atomic structure. Science can document changes now in metabolism, our neurology, and even within our genes. As we move into a higher vibration, more universal life force is assimilated and sustained. Aging as we knew it is reversing now, and youthing is a conscious choice. Use the power of your conscious will and intent to see yourself becoming lighter. Access the codes of creation within your master self and divine life blueprint now. Ask for vibrant health and intelligence to be restored within your body. Open to the healer within you, as no one but you can give permission for the changes you are seeking. Ultimately, the carbon-based molecule will completely transform and transfigure into a crystalline form, and you will return to a light body form. The evolution of ascension is love, and it is taking place within the cosmos, our planet Earth, and within your physical makeup. Blessings on your ascension, dear friends. I am Master Cat Buddha. And so it is.
This is our service prayer. I am in service to my Creator and the Creator of all that is. I pray to always serve the light of my Creator, God, Goddess, Source, with love, and to always do my part to the very best of my ability. I pray to always go and be exactly where I need to be to manifest the Creator's divine master plan of love. I acknowledge my service and the gift of my earth life back to the One. Please use my body and soul combined with my free will as your own to serve at the highest possible level as your representative. I give humble thanks for the ability to serve at this level. I am grateful for my life. I am a unique and integral part of the divine master plan of love. I am an example of divine love. I pray now for the highest good of all beings in all places and at all times. I honor my divinity by serving my Creator joyfully. Let us rejoice! And so it is. We give thanks, we give thanks, we give thanks. Amen. 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 Master Puda and I have collaborated with many talented artists. The creation of this film is a labor of love, and we wish to lovingly thank each and every one of the artists for their contributions. This film is a journey into your sacred heart and your connection to your soul. Along the way, you may release old patterns and beliefs that no longer serve your soul's progression. You may also expand your consciousness and integrate more of your original Divine Life Blueprint. Enjoy your journey into your heart. <laughs>